Hello everyone! When dealing with traditional American knife patterns, you have to think like a biologist, because very often you need to identify and classify a particular knife species. So let's take a closer look at the case Eisenhower. Generally speaking, there are two large groups of traditional knife patterns, jack knives and pen knives. Now, what's this one? Well, it's small, it's lightweight, it's a double end knife with two blades, one being a pen blade. Obviously, it's a pen knife. Next question, is it symmetrical or asymmetrical? No doubt, it's an equal end knife. Next, how many blades have we got? Two blades, a spear point blade as main blade, and as I already mentioned, a small pen blade. Now we have all the criteria to pin this species down. It's a senator pen knife. And the corresponding case number, which is printed on a sticker on the box, is 06263SS, with the leading 06 denoting the handle material, the 6 stands for bone, the next number denotes the number of blades, and 63 is the actual pattern number. The suffix SS stands for stainless steel. By the way, this knife pattern predates 1920, so it has been around for almost 100 years. Having identified the knife pattern, the next question is, who is this Eisenhower anyway? Dwight D. Eisenhower, sincere and vigorous, a man in any cloth, soldier, educator or statesman. Architect of victory in Europe, in World War II, he swept the forces of Hitler to total defeat. He returned home and his own people took him to their hearts. In New York, he waved happily as a storm of confetti and ticker tape swirled down around him. He was a man of the hour. A leader in civilian life, as president of Columbia, Ike championed the cause of freedom. Then NATO called him, and in one short year he made allies out of old enemies and helped unify Western Europe. Home again, General Eisenhower engaged in the biggest battle of his career, the battle for the White House, and won an emphatic victory. Dwight David Eisenhower, 33rd President. Another chapter, may it be a bright one, in the glorious and continuing story of America's presidents. As a German who was born a generation after the end of World War II, I have great respect for Eisenhower. He liberated my country from the Nazis and documented their atrocities. And he helped the civilians of post-war Germany by bringing in food and medical supplies. And another fact is quite interesting. Eisenhower's ancestors came from an ore mining area in Germany, the Odenwald Mountains. The writing of the name Eisenhower is an anglicized version of the original German family name Eisenhower, which is not only a family name, but also the name of a profession. Eisenhower means iron cutter or miner. Which brings us back to the topic of this video. Eisenhower was a knife nut. He liked knives and his favorite knife was this 63 pattern manufactured by Case. He had the knives engraved and gave them as gifts to friends and foreign state guests. Eisenhower purchased these knives from a case dealer in Texas. When Case found out about this, they offered to provide him with knives directly. But Eisenhower refused. He wanted to support his dealer in Texas. In the 1990s, Case named this knife pattern Eisenhower and it is still available with different handle materials. Some even have Ike's signature etched on the main blade. Now let's take a closer look at this particular Eisenhower pocket knife. The closed length is 3 and 1 8 of an inch or 7.9 centimeters. The handle material is jicket bone and the coloration is called golden rod, which is really awesome. It covers shades from tan to dark brown. By the way, the bone used to make knife handles at Case Cutlery comes from the shin of zebu cattle found in Brazil. As I already mentioned, there are two stainless steel blades, a spear point master blade and a pen blade. Both blades operate on a single back spring. 
Of course, both blades are slip joints. Please note that there is no halfway stop when opening and closing the blades. The blade steel is Case Cutlery's True Sharp Surgical Stainless Steel, which is a high carbon steel. This steel offers excellent corrosion resistance and takes a decent edge. Like almost all case knives, the Eisenhower comes with brass liners and nickel silver bolsters. Please note that there is no extra liner or divider between the two blades. I don't know what Ike turned onto this knife pattern. What I especially like about this knife are the distinctive elongated and rounded bolsters, which give the knife a very elegant and gentlemanly look. What I also like are the half sunk joints. Now, what are half sunk joints? The back corners of the blades stick out only a little bit and so do the nail nicks. If the back corners of the blades were completely covered by the handle, it would even be a bit more elegant. But that's the difference between sunk joints and half sunk joints. The overall fit and finish is exactly what I had expected from Case Cutlery. The knife is very well manufactured, everything is smooth, there are no gaps, just as it should be. If you look at the proportions of this knife, it's pretty obvious that it is not made for heavy duty cutting tasks. It's a classic gentleman's knife in a small size. Just for comparison, this is the Victorinox Classic. The main blade here is as large as the secondary blade on the Eisenhower. And just for kicks, this is the Spyderco Bug. And to give you another comparison, this is a Fisher Space Pen. Look at them. I think they go together very well. I must say I really fell in love with this little guy. So this was my first review of a case knife. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more case knife reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.